We just got this pallet of gear in from our friends over at Supermicro. Chris there has put together a wonderful collection for us, highlighted by an 8U blade chassis here, and we've got five blades up top, and four of these guys have GPUs inside. We'll tear into all of that here in just a little bit to show you just how flexible this blade chassis is and the wide variety of blades you can get with it. This chassis can support 20 blades inside, and what we've got here are the half height blades, we've got five of them that are the double wide, but there's single wide if you want more compute heavy blades, there are single proc, there's dual proc, there are full height blades where you can go 10 wide on those as well. The blade chassis offers a tremendous amount of flexibility depending on your workloads. And while we're focused on the GPU blades that we've got here in front of us, you could go compute heavy with this thing as well. You could fill it halfway today knowing that your workloads are gonna grow later and you're gonna keep slotting these things in. There's all sorts of fun stuff you can do with this thing. That's just on the front end. On the back end, as we get the chassis out and spin it around, we're going to show you that it's got a tremendous amount of flexibility on that side as well. We've got a 200 gig InfiniBand switch that's going to provide the internal communications of the blades as well as provide high speed access externally. If you need something more Ethernet friendly, we've got two 25 gig switches in this as well. And then there's a management uh, module that we'll get into. There's also 3000 watt power supplies, but before I continue telling you about all of these things inside, let's get all this open, rack this bad boy and get to work. We've unboxed the first blade in our uh, pile here from Supermicro. This is a really exciting one. I've brought in Jordan to talk about why he's so pumped up. What's inside here that's got your beard all in a, in a lather? This is really super cool. Supermicro sent us an Nvidia H100 blade and not just one, they sent us four, four. of them. This is the half height, double wide blade. And in order, you need that in order to fit the card in the front where all the airflow comes through. This is super cool because we can fit 10 of these in the 8U chassis. And while we're focused on the GPU uh, blades here, of course, we've got a compute blade too. And again, the, the chassis offers almost infinite flexibility. So Jordan unboxed all five of the blades. And in fact, the first four were all GPU nodes, which is kind of I funny. know, we were searching Statistically, for this dual CPU. I know. Yes, we've got both blades taken apart here. One GPU blade with the H100 here from NVIDIA, and one is the dual proc compute heavy blade. Starting at the back, they've got the same connectors, obviously, so they just chunk into the chassis the same way. And actually, they look the same until you get past this first uh, CPU heatsink and DRAM cluster. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, actually. The boards are almost vis visually identical all the way until you get past the first heat sink. And over here, they just continued it and replicated a whole nother CPU and DEM bank. Over here, it looks like they chunked it in half and put on the power and PCI Express delivery lines. Yeah, on the front over here, we've got our M.2 boot SSD. We've got two NVMe bays on the bottom here. And then there's this riser, which allows for a lot of flexibility for these other two slots. So now let's uh, throw the lids back on these things, get the intern to get the chassis out and get back to business. All right, so Jordan helped me heave this up. Actually, he did most of the work because he had the back end of this thing. Because you can see is the front without the blades in it, it's not all that heavy. But as I was talking to you before about being able to fit 20 blades in here, the way these blanks are positioned, you can see how you could fit 20 of these blades across the front. Now these are gapped a little bit differently because they're set up for the double wide blades of which we have five. So we've got one here, 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 and here. And actually these spacers in between and actually this one here, those are all removable. Depending on the types of blades you'll put in this system, it's highly configurable. So again, if you're going to use 10 of the tall blades across the whole front of this thing, you'd get rid of this uh, partition here inside. Let's get this chassis racked and then we'll put the blades in and, and get it set up. But before that, let's also take a look at the back of this beast because there's all sorts of exciting things happening back there. As we spin this chassis around to the back, this 8U beast is uh, flanked by two sets of power supplies on the top and the bottom. The one thing that's got us pretty excited is this unit right here. This is the InfiniBand switch. It's a 200 gig switch with 20 ports externally facing, 20 internal facing for the blades. So the only thing missing from ours is of course the second switch. We only have the 125 gig there. And then these little panels come out those are uh, twin fan modules that you can put in there too. So if we were running more than five blades or doing some more aggressive activity, we might wanna have the fan modules in there. But as it is, this comes straight out of a super micro lab that's been highly tested, so we're not really worried about airflow. So now what we've gotta do is give this thing one more spin, get the uh, rail kit installed, get this on the rails, and then we'll add our nodes back in and fire it up, and that'll get us going for today. 
We've managed to get the 8U chassis racked up. We've got our four GPU blades installed. Remember, each one of these has an H100 in it. Jordan's gonna be working these over from a test plan standpoint, both uh, one GPU, one H100, running an AI workload, as well as a distributed model that takes advantage of all four of these. We'll also be testing the compute node too once we get the DRAM and that all figured out and uh, get the workloads running on this across all the GPUs, and that's really exciting. We'll be doing more of that in future parts of this series. If you want to check out what we're doing in real time, we're talking about it on the Discord, and Jordan will be live testing this system on our Discord as well. That's discord.gg slash storage review. I'll link to it in the description. Let's see what sort of noise this thing makes when it gets cranking. There we go, that's what I was looking for. That is the sound of innovation right there. Those power supplies are fired up. All five of our nodes are coming online. Now let's go get to testing these bad boys. <laughs> 